It was another quiet night shift at the office. I work on the help desk team for a large corporation, and my job was to assist employees with any technical issues they may encounter. Usually, the night shift was uneventful, and I spent most of my time browsing the internet and waiting for the occasional phone call. But tonight was different. My coworker called in sick, leaving me alone to cover the entire shift. I wasn't too worried at first. I've worked the night shift alone before, and nothing ever happened. But as the night dragged on, I couldn't shake off this uneasy feeling that something wasn't right. The office was incredibly quiet, with only the hum of the computers and the occasional creaking of the building to break the silence. It was a bit eerie, but I told myself it was just my imagination. As I was scrolling through social media, I suddenly heard a strange noise coming from down the hall. It sounded like footsteps, but I was the only one in the office. I'd brushed it off as my mind playing tricks on me and continued with my browsing. But then the phone rang. It startled me and I quickly answered it. It was one of the employees having trouble with their email. I tried to sound as professional as possible, but my voice was shaky and I could feel my heart racing. After I hung up, I couldn't focus on anything else. I kept thinking about the strange noise and how I had never heard it before. I even got up and walked down the hall to check, but everything seemed normal. Back at my desk, I tried to calm myself down by telling myself it was just a noise from the building settling. But then the lights flickered. It was only for a split second, but it was enough to send chills down my spine. I decided to take a break and make myself some coffee in the break room. As I was pouring the hot water into my mug, I heard a loud crash coming from the supply closet. I jumped and quickly turned around, but there was nothing there. My heart was pounding and I was starting to feel really scared. I wanted to call my coworker or anyone else for that matter, but my phone battery had died. I had forgotten to charge it earlier, and now I was completely alone with no way to contact anyone. I reluctantly went back to my desk, constantly looking over my shoulder and feeling like I was being washed. I tried to focus on my work, but I couldn't help but feel like something was off. Suddenly, I heard a knock at the office door. My heart skipped a beat and I froze. I didn't want to answer it, but what if it was someone in need of help? I slowly walked towards the door, my heart pounding in my chest. As I opened the door, I was met with darkness. The lights in the hallway had gone out, leaving only the dim glow of the emergency lights. I stepped out into the hallway, trying to find the source of the knocking, but there was no one there. That's when I heard a whisper coming from behind me. I turned around, but there was no one in sight. I could feel the fear creeping up on me, and I hurried back into the office, locking the door behind me. I was trembling as I sat at my desk, not knowing what to do. The noises and the lights flashing had become too much for me to handle. And then, I saw it. A figure standing in the corner of the room, partially hidden in the shadows. I screamed and ran out of the office, not looking back. I didn't stop until I was outside and in my car, tears streaming down my face. I never went back to that office again. I quit my job the next day and moved far away. Some may say it was just an overactive imagination, but I know what I saw and heard that night. And I never want to experience a night shift alone at work ever again. As I sit here in the dimly lit office, I can feel a sense of unease creeping up on me. It's my first night shift alone at work, and I have to admit, I'm not used to being in this building when it's so quiet. The hum of the fluorescent lights and the faint clicking of my keyboard are the only sounds breaking the silence. I wish I had someone here with me, but my boss assured me that there wouldn't be anyone else in the building after hours. I never thought I'd find myself in this situation. Working the night shift at a large office building was not my idea of a dream job. But I needed the extra money and it seemed like an easy enough gig. Boy, was I wrong. The hours dragged on and I found myself struggling to stay awake. I couldn't bring myself to put on some music or watch a movie to pass the time. 
for fear of disturbing the quiet and attracting unwanted attention. I tried to focus on my work, but my mind kept wandering to all the horror movies I had seen. Being alone in a huge office building at night was the perfect setting for a horror story. Suddenly, I heard a creaking sound coming from the hallway. My heart jumped, and I froze in my seat. I told myself it was just the building settling, but I couldn't shake off the feeling of being washed. I tried to brush it off and continue working, but the creaking sound continued, getting louder and closer. My hands were shaking as I reached for my phone to call my boss. But as I pressed the unlock button, I saw that I had no signal. Panic set in as I realized that I was completely alone and cut off from the outside world. I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up as I heard the creaking getting closer and closer. I could no longer deny it. Someone or something was in the building with me. The creaking sound was now accompanied by footsteps, slowly making their way towards the office. I was frozen with fear, unable to move or make a sound. I kept praying for it to be some kind of prank or a late night cleaning crew. But deep down I knew that wasn't the case. The door to my office creaked open and I let out a blood curdling scream as I saw a figure standing in the doorway. It was tall and then slender with long limbs and a pale, ghostly face. It was wearing a suit that looked like it had been ripped and stained with blood. Its eyes were empty and lifeless, but they seemed to be staring right into my soul. I wanted to run to escape this nightmare, but my body wouldn't cooperate. My legs felt like they were glued to my chair and I could barely breathe. The figure slowly made its way towards me, its steps echoing in the quiet office, and then it spoke in a deep, gravelly voice that sent shivers down my spine. Welcome to your first night shift, my dear. I couldn't believe my ears. This thing, whatever it was, knew I was new to the night shift. I couldn't process what was happening. It was like a bad dream. But before I could even attempt to run, the figure suddenly vanished into thin air. I sat there, shaking and covered in a cold sweat until the sun started to rise and the office came back to life with the morning staff. I quickly gathered my things and practically ran out of the building, not looking back until I was safely outside. I never went back to that job again. I couldn't shake off the terror that I felt that night. I later found out that the building I was working in used to be a hotel where a young woman was murdered by her husband on their wedding night. Rumor has it that her ghost still roams the building seeking revenge on anyone who works the night shift. I don't know if that's the true story or just an urban legend, but I do know one thing for sure. I'll never work a night shift alone again. I never thought I'd find myself working a night shift at the abandoned factory on the outskirts of town. It was always known as the Haunted Factory, but being short on cash, I took the job without hesitation. Little did I know, this decision would lead me down a path of terror and unexplained events. As I walked into the factory on my first night, I could feel a chill down my spine. I brushed it off as just nerves and continued on with my duties. My task was simple, monitor the machinery and make sure everything was running smoothly. I never imagined that this job would turn into a nightmarish experience. The factory was gloomy and eerie, with dimly lit corridors and a perpetual smell of decay. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being washed. I tried to maintain my focus on the machinery, but every creak and whisper made me jump. Hours passed, and I couldn't shake off the feeling of unease. I decided to take a break and went to the break room. As I sat there, sipping my coffee, I heard shuffling noises coming from the other end of the room, thinking it was just a rat. I dismissed it and continued my break. But as I got up to leave, I saw a shadow moving across the room. My heart raced as I realized I was not alone. I quickly turned on all the lights and searched the room, but there was no one there. I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being watched. I tried to convince myself that it was all in my head but deep down, I knew something was not right. As the weeks went by, 
My night shifts became more and more terrifying. Every night, I would hear strange noises and see shadows moving around the factory. I tried to rationalize it, but there was no logical explanation for what was happening. One night, as I was making my rounds, I heard a blood-curdling scream coming from one of the closed-off rooms. I cautiously opened the door and saw a figure standing in the corner of the room, facing away from me. I called out, thinking it was just one of my co-workers playing a prank, but there was no response. I slowly approached the figure and realized it was a mannequin covered in blood. I screamed and ran out of there, never looking back. After that incident, I couldn't handle being alone at the factory anymore. The fear had consumed me, and I couldn't take it any longer. I quit my job and never looked back. To this day, I still shudder at the thought of that night shift alone at the abandoned factory. I will never know what truly happened there, but one thing is for sure. I will never work another night shift at a haunted place again.